I'm Allison Morrow with your DNR report. When many of us hear the word fuel, we often think of our vehicles, in which case running out of fuel is a bad thing. But when it comes to wildfire in Washington State Forest, fuel is not something you want a lot of. And that's why the new Southeast Region Fuels Reduction Module is such an important group of people. You see, in forests like this one in the Tiana Way, fire is an essential part of the ecosystem. If not fire adapted, maybe a fire dependent ecosystem. So it relies on having a fire regime um, to kind of exist and perpetuate itself. However, over the decades, wildfires have been put out in order to protect property and people. That, however, has created a buildup of what's called fuel. It looks almost like a wall of, of brush and, uh, and branches. And if you look this way, you know, you can look and you can see, you can see a couple, I don't know, 100, 200 yards down that direction. And we'll come through with saws and cut it up to about shoulder height. We find that's pretty safe. So, you know, you can imagine this was a, you know, pretty limby tree. Just remove those. Uh, move to another tree, somebody will come, remove the branches, stage them up for chipping. We're trying to come through here and sort of correct those, those mistakes of, of have, having the forest be so dense. Um, and we're trying to open it up and make it more resilient to fire, right? So that when that fire does happen, it's going to be easier for us to manage. Both of the men that you see in this video are wildfire fighters. If we put in the work now, when we show up on scene, we're gonna be able to engage more confidently, more comfortably, more safety, because our number one priority is, is our own safety. Before the creation of the fuels module, this work was often done by seasonal wildfire fighters when they weren't fighting fire and had some time off. And the crew tells me they've treated more than 10 times the forest acres they've been able to treat in the past before the fuels module was created. When we can make the human communities more resilient to fire, and at the same time help out the, the landscape, right? I think that's like, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. The fuels module will return next year as a four person crew.